So when you can't take the court, when you can't take the field, when you can't get into the ring, then it's good to go through your visualizations to increase your performance. Something interesting now. Now we've got visualization that may be getting a boost through things like AR. And though we are not 100% there by any means, there is so much research that's already starting to be done on AR to improve performance. And I think this is really cool. I know my kids will think it's cool because it would be a lot of fun to put on the Oculus and feel like they're actually getting better at doing some real-time sports. And they're moving instead of just sitting down, which is, if you're going to be on a device, I like the ones that you're exercising with. So let's look at this. This is a study that came out, and it said, towards the understanding of situated AR visualization for basketball free throw training. So just going back to the original study that we looked at, and now we're looking at a 2021 study where they're using AR, right? So we're, we, we've got this, um, this different reality that we're going on through, a, through an Oculus, through a visualization, through the meta quest. And here's what it says. Our results show that real-time visual feedback helps athletes refine subsequent shots. Shooters in our study achieve greater angle consistency with our visual feedback. Furthermore, AR visualization promotes an increased focus on body form in athletes. Finally, we present suggestions for designing a future sports AR studies. It seems like there's some really good information. So we are not just doing visualization, but now we have assisted visualization from uh, from these devices that you can now do AR on. I think that's pretty cool.